Hey guys, this is Swarzat and Wayward Haymaker. Indeed it is. And we're back for another part of Bionicle Heroes, because ours finally worked. And you'll notice, um, uh, Kongu there that he started with had a bunch of silver hearts. Go back to that. That's because I spent all of our money on upgrading his armor so that he can't die because he's the best. So, uh, for what we can, we're going to, uh, switch off who's playing. So I'm playing this time. And... So, for some reason, we use the rock she had to uh, open the next area, which is weird. Well, you know. We go into Smuggler's works. Cove. Yeah, one thing you're probably going to notice, um, yeah, it, it shows Vazok here, but he's not the boss here, I think. Is he? Probably no, not. the second level the second level in every zone doesn't actually have a boss, which I think is kind of dumb, because they could have just used more characters. Although, they didn't really have all that many more they could have used. Well, are the Borok Cowl in this? Well, it calls them the Borok Cowl, but they're not actually. So yeah, in this one, you can just kind of turn around and grab a Kongu mask. Kongu kind of is, <laughs> like, he just kind of starts everywhere. Play Kongu everywhere. So you will notice that I love using Nubru a lot. Yeah. And that's, that, like, you'll be able to, because uh, we have very distinct play styles in this, you will be able to tell without even listening to us, who is playing. Because, because he'll get all the random crap that you don't yeah, actually I'll, need. Yeah, I'll be and spending all my time building flowers and shooting people with Kongu. Oh, and there we showed off the jumping thing Kongu can do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was... You should do it again for good measure a couple times. Well, there's, there's one to get a canister up there, I'll show you. All right. We'll get, to, we'll get to that in a sec. So, you know, isn't this just so much better? Isn't Kongu killing everyone? Well, that's because his weapon better than everybody else's right now. I know. Now. I mean... Didn't I... didn't I do that? Oh, come on, shoot. Alright, so... Obviously this level's uh, quite a bit darker than the first one. Dude, I still couldn't see anything in the first one. My TV's crap, brightness-wise. But the, the one I have upstairs is worse. I was literally playing... I would turn the brightness up on this. I can't really see anything. And I know that the uh, the dark... It's if, if it's dark on this TV, it's probably going to be really dark on YouTube. So, basically, you see a pad, you see A, you jump. And that, that's a giant Vaki statue. Holy yeah, crap. It is. That's... And there's a Borok just walking at me. Die. And he'll, why did enemies come back over here? I thought well, I already... You know, did they use... Remember back in the beginning, like, we were talking about, like, mini-bosses? Like, to have in the second level of all these zones? Yeah. What about those like massive Rahi back in the original sets? Uh, that, that they been don't cool have. To... They don't have those. Yeah, because I remember the big cat guy. Like that would have been an awesome fight. The giant scorpion dude. Yeah, those things would have been fun. And for some reason, they've given us all five except for Jala. And hello, windy tunnel. Uh, there's. In case you guys didn't notice from the last one, there is kind of a map in the bottom that you can actually kind of see where we're going and where Matt basically it's it, the mini map. It tells you uh where masks are the characters you haven't gotten yet in the level are. Because you can see a red mask in there if you can see it close enough. It's probably really small on the screen. I like how we and were earlier I was saying that you could easily tell who's playing because you'd be using Nuburu all the time and I'd be using Kongu. And you're playing, and you're using Kongu. Well, that's because Nuperu's, to be honest, Nuperu's not very good before you... Why is there a blue thing over there? Oh, I can get over... Oh, duh, I can get over there. That's why. <laughs> and that thing has a Paraka head. Yes, it does. <laughs> and... Bridge. Your sacrifice is not in vain. And we could go that way, but let's go this way. And this is showing off how it's making you use... Where is it? There's like a white thing over... Oh, it's right there. The white thing you gotta shoot and that'll... Oh, I missed. Are you kidding? I like how they call him the White Toa. They don't even bother to mention that he's ice. So we can go over here. I'm not sure if we can actually get anything over here, but there's a couple like... There's a Viserac. Oh, well, there's some enemies over here. There's one way over there that I didn't quite kill. You can see him glow red when he dies. Cause you and that, that, oh, are you kidding? Yeah, yeah, I think you gotta use Matoro's scope to get the, like, the, the long-range pickup. 
No. If you, usually, if you're in, in an area, you can't. If the enemies are in an area you can't get to. It usually just gives you them, and that's a loot box. Yes, and that takes a plus ability. I remember I had a one of those a, a green ball rock, so does that rock, one. Layvok, whatever it is. I had one of those, and I had it built wrong for like five years. I, I think I remember. Yeah, we used to build the ball rock wrong as well. And we actually finally looked at the instruction manual. Yeah, like, I looked at the instruction <laughs> manual once I figured out how to read instruction manuals for things that are more complicated than just snap joint A into joint receiving receptacle B. But, um, yeah. And fix a door. And enter door. And the funny thing is, if you actually, like, fire off a shot right before you get into one of these cutscenes, you can actually, like, see it. I'll see if I can pull it off, but I forgot too late for that one. Not that that's, like, a significant feature of the game, it's, it's just that we noticed it's, that it's, earlier. It's a, little, it's a little bit of polish that's gonna cool. So. And get out of my way. Get guns too out slow. here. Gun is too slow. I don't need to zoom in to kill him. But if you did, it would be very cinematic. <laughs> it would be. That guy's like glitching out. <laughs> Punch him. Hello. Right in the eye. And someone hit me. There's a whole bunch of guys right behind me. But that was fun. Hello, stud heaven. And we didn't actually go in this air. Oh, we can't. Blocked off area. Yeah, you see, if I would have spent uh, more of our points that we had from the last level upgrading the utilitarian power of Kongu, then we could have went in there. But I decided just to up his shotgun and up his armor to make him harder to kill when he's not invincible. Although, eventually you'll get the uh, enemies will basically upgrade themselves and they're doing a crap ton more damage. Yeah. And you'll be kind of screwed. And there's just a canister just laying right here. You don't even have to do anything. And my friend, a new brew mask. And there's another door. With a Vaki. Now eventually you'll get to, uh... Talking about when enemies get more advanced, the Vaki eventually are very evil and they like pretend to die and they're not dead yet where is that jala mask I um, see it on the mini map is it behind the kongu it's probably door? behind the kongu gate yeah darn it it is that's dumb so let's blow this door up for some reason there's two four rock shields i noticed that blocks too. <laughs> it's weird how i can recognize all the more um like shaped pieces. And there's a couple of Vaki. And I have no idea what the Vaki ones are. So. <laughs> I don't know. I just call them green Vaki, red Vaki. I mean, if you're a Vaki, you really do you really need like another name? And Vaki that's another awesome. thing. It's a really good thing the Vakis don't have the Vaki. The Vakis I whatever the plural is. It's a good thing they don't have their powers, because they, like, mind control you. Which would be quite difficult for gameplay. Especially, especially seeing as this is a single-player game. Even though I'm almost 30% sure, certain that you could play some form of co-op on the PS2 version. And I'm really wishing we could, because that would make this more interesting. Yeah, rather than just us switching off, or me playing half the game and him playing the other half. And... Auto lock, tell me where the enemies are. Oh, I'm just beginning to remember what how is... common... What? That's a Rakshi it's, Yeah, it's a Rakshi. And then there's what, some... What is that? Part of the Rakshi's weapon, I think? Or just like is a that pound? A, I don't know what that is. Is that like a... Oh, that's like his foot. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm shooting these guys down as hooky. 
And I grabbed a Kangu mask before the cutscene. So now you're playing correctly. <laughs> yeah, see, these levels are significantly shorter, because as soon as I do that hero mode thing, we'll basically be done with that level. Or this level. So these ones are significantly shorter. And get out of my way. Did I sh shoot the door past the Bulrock? Um, I think you had, like, a double penetration thing going on. And we're knocking off the Bulrock heads. Matoro aims for the head. Hey, when you get done, that takes Galar possibility. We get in here. Yes, we can. Load up. Uh, Borok are trying to camouflage themselves and not doing a very good job of it. They're still green. Yeah. Dude, stop missing him. You have auto lock. How are you missing? Shoot him. Well, there's a Jala mask. Thank you at the very end of the level. Good thing we haven't been paying any points into him. Alright, well... Anything else? He went there. Er... Over here. Oh, that takes possibility. Obviously, we, we're not getting much in this level. No, we're not. This is kind of like... This is like, um... We can show off some of the extras, because this is going quite a bit faster. Yeah. This is like 12 minutes. The second levels are usually, the like, the shortest. And our goal for the second levels is to find these Zamor spheres, which is kind of the Paraka weapons. Oh yeah, that's what those are called, the Zamor spheres. They basically, they're like the essence of the main evil guy. In sphere form. And those... So pieces, just go ahead those and pieces it. are flying into nothingness, <laughs> and there was stolen there in the cutscene. Yeah, now you see on his uh, left hand, he's got a little launcher for the Zamor sphere, and his leg just fell off, and he put it back on. It's because he's made of Legos, get it? <laughs> All right, so we got three silvers, no gold, fifty-seven thousand. Smuggler's Cove completed. The blue is the lowest completion rank, and we've killed 100 Vizorak in two levels. Hooray! But we still haven't gotten any, like, individual person killing So, saving game. And let's go up here. So, I'm gonna go buy some stuff. Because that's what we do after each level. Yeah, and what we're doing is, um, he, after all of his levels, he's, uh, Swarzide is gonna buy what he wants. And I'm going to upgrade Kongu. <laughs> Basically. And I don't have enough to go for his weapon, so I'll do a little bit of upgrading. So even though I prefer playing as Nupru, I like upgrading Jala's weapon first because his it's really secondary cool. weapon is awesome. Because it's uh, the disc launcher. So... Basically, we're going to show off some other stuff because we're doing this level quite a bit faster. Uh, down here, because you can't go in here before the first level because you don't have Hookie for some reason. This is like the trophy room, which is stuff you get. Over here is like your level completion and other bonuses. This is the bosses and silver canisters. This is the gold canisters and obviously we have absolutely nothing. Because we suck. No, because we're two levels into the game. Yeah, we're noobs. We suck. We do. Obviously. And then up here, there's a door on both sides that you have to open from the outside. So go back and open the other one from the outside. Okay, fine. It's just annoying when you go all the way up and you get to the other side and you try to open it and it doesn't work. And all these... uh little pieces you're seeing just randomly flying around are from nothing. These are the creature chambers that really currently have nothing in them except for the one on the far right which we go into. Those doors respawn so you can actually farm them for studs every time you get out of a level. So basically in here this shows all the bosses and canisters. 
and then you can pull him out and look at him. See, we put him in a cage even though we blew him up. Yeah, I was right. He does have disintegration. And then that's... That's basically it. So... I remember um, back when this game was being released, they made a big thing about, like, you can play as the bosses you defeat. And I'm like, that's awesome. Because, like, I knew you'd be you'd be able to play as, like, the Toa, because they're the, the, the main heroes. But then it's like, yeah, there's going to be bosses everywhere of, like, the other prominent villains in the series, like, from all over the series, and you'll be able to play as all of them. And I guess that just got cut, because that would have taken a long time to make a really good, awesome right. game like that. Okay, so... Part two is now complete because we finished the second level of the first zone. So we will see you next time where we are going to take on, uh, I don't remember what it's called, but the third level. The third blue level. <laughs> so we'll see you then, and Wayward Haymaker will be playing next time. I will so be. see you then. Goodbye.